where could we be seeing the price of XRP moving to next? I'm gonna be diving into the price chart in just a moment and showing you my technical analysis. And by the way, I found something that I think is actually quite interesting, so I'm happy to share that with you guys. And we also have a couple of these little rumor type things going on from the community space, speculation. We're gonna start with that. Before I get into it though, if you guys are new to the channel and you wanna see more XRP related news, content, don't forget to hit subscribe. Would love to have you be a part of this community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive right on into the news. So taking a look here, we can see this post from Crypto Barbie says another XRP price glitch or a revelation of its true value. So let's go ahead and play this video for you guys. Remember that XRP was created for $10,000 plus to fulfill its intended purpose. So we can see here through what looks to be trading view shows the price at 9,864, then it glitches down to like, what was that, 24 cents or something, and then comes right back up and it shows it at this high level price. And yeah, that's not normal. So what do you guys think is causing that to happen? People are taking note that they've been seeing this happening in other places recently as well. So like this individual says, the 10,000 glitches seem to be consistent to F it, I'm a believer, LOL. So yeah, why would it be happening more frequently and at various locations. Very, very odd. It raises eyebrows, if anything. So then moving on, Linda P. Jones says, Coinbase approving perpetual futures contracts for trading XRP means one, XRP is very bullish. If XRP's price was not going to fluctuate or change a lot, no one would be interested in trading it. Futures contracts allows for maximum leverage and can lead to outsized profits or losses. Two, Wall Street firms, mostly hedge funds, are the firms who trade futures contracts. This is about institutional money coming into the trade. It is not about retail investors. This is bullish for XRP because it means the large wave of institutional money is close to coming in and they want to trade on the volatility. Number three, the fact that Coinbase is secretive about the countries approved to trade these contracts means it may be Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, etc., which are the jurisdiction for hedge funds and other offshore funds. Why the secret? Because the truth is to telling. They then provide a link to a Coinbase blog article. What are your thoughts on that? I'm curious. Okay, now moving over here to the price charts, my technical analysis with XRP. So if you uh, have watched my videos in the past, one of the biggest technical indicators that I love to look at is the Golden Cross and the Death Cross. These are for long-term investing. It's long-term market analysis. So you get the 50-day and the 200-day moving averages. And those crossover events, if it's a death cross, it would suggest that we're looking at a more extensive bear market time period. If it's a golden cross, then it would suggest that we're looking at a longer time frame of uh, probability that the price is going to go up. This is all based on probability. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing set in stone with this stuff. There's variables that come out of nowhere, like, for example, a, a terrorist organization that decides that they're gonna do some massive attack on a country like Israel, right? This stuff does come out of nowhere. It raises new concerns. Lots of countries can get involved. You get the point. So taking a look at what we have available, what I'm gonna be introducing to you guys to right now that I have not been really using much as of recent in my market analysis of different cryptos, but I have used it in the past and I actually am a huge fan of this as well. So this is the Fibonacci retracement, okay? So with this, we can see these different zones, and you'll notice that if I zoom out on the daily, I did not actually set my main first point at the very peak, and there's a reason for that. So I'm looking at it from a little bit more of a conservative time period. So this going back to around that of February of 2022 and just seeing where potential breakouts can be um, a little bit more in the shorter term. And what I've noticed is that not only did we hit the high right around 92, almost 93 cents back on uh, looks like July 16th or so. But if we zoom in a tad bit here, we can actually see that there was another incident 
back on February 10th, another one right around March 28th. And so this would suggest to me three instances being a stronger trend pattern. So I feel more comfortable of setting that as a reference point of where we need to try and break out of, especially given the fact that that third instance is closer to the more recent time period. You can see it's a little bit off, so I'm using an approximation here. Then if we go down here to the very bottom, where it bottom out, we can see that setting that as a guideline suggests that with where we are right now, fitting within this channel, which we do see a lot of the price having fit within this, right? going through this time period in October. Then we've got this part for April. Again, this part of like June to July. And then here from August through. So we're right now sitting about in the median zone. Could really go either way, right? This death cross formation, uh, not the greatest indicator. For the bull side, I should say. I should say. Um, so what we're looking at here is that we want to try and get above this level, which is around 53 cents. And if we end up having this drop down, keep an eye out for support right around 44 cents. If it breaks down below that, then we might see it drop all the way back down to around 29, 30 uh, type cents as well. I'm leaning more in the direction that that's probably not going to happen, but that's just given what we have at the moment. Obviously, new things can happen as this continues to move forward. But yeah, I'm really keeping an eye on around 53 cents. If it breaks above that, then the next major zone I'd be keeping an eye on is around 61 cents. And even with something like that, let's go ahead and see what kind of a percentage increase that would be. That would be a 13.7% increase, which is very attractive, especially given the fact that XRP is one of the top cryptocurrencies that exists out there. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. We'd love to get your opinions. And uh, again, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more XRP related news, the rumor stuff that's going on, just stuff that's happening in the community space, don't forget to hit subscribe. I do cover, I do cover other cryptocurrencies on this channel as well. <laughs> and also I have my own Telegram group that is Team Crypto Atlas. You can find the link to that Telegram group down in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to we love safemoon.com, Victor Vegas, Safemoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.